In today's video, I'm going to talk about five main features that you probably didn't know about Elementor Cloud Hosting. So the first feature I want to talk about is SiteLog. Now, SiteLog is really awesome because you can start designing your website without the whole world seeing what is happening. So if they want, really, really want to see it, then they have to enter a code. So let me show you how it works. So over here is my main hosting dashboard. So if I click here to manage this site, this takes me now to all the main features of this actual domain. So if I scroll further down here, you're going to notice that we have this option here which says site log. And this is the pin code. So if you click here, it will show you the code that you need to access the website. So over here, you can also switch it off. So if, you, if I just click here to say uh, off, it will ask me to, un uh, to disable unlocking. And now you can see that pretty much uh, anyone now can see my website. Now, the advantages of doing this is... You don't want search engines to start indexing your website as you're designing it. And secondly, maybe your site is not complete yet and you don't want to show the whole world at what stage your website is. So this is where you want to use the site log. Now, many years ago when I used to run a design agency, the problem that I used to get most of the time was websites being hacked and having a lot of trouble getting it up and running again. So this feature right here is fantastic because take a look here. All these are backups that were done for me and these are done pretty much every 24 hours. This is very, very powerful and I really like this because this gives me peace of mind because the last thing you want is to design a website, something goes wrong and you've lost all the data and you have to rebuild the website again. Now, can you imagine if you had clients on that website or if it was an e-commerce website and you had to redo everything, it's a no-no. So these backups are really cool. Now, what you can also do is, let's say you're designing your website and there's a specific point you want to uh, backup, you can always come over here and do it manually. So if I click here on create a new backup, you can just specify here at what stage. So let's say in this case, it is um, I installed WooCommerce. So just to remind me, I can just put in there WooCommerce. And then I can say backup now and the backup will now start. OK, so let's say you want to restore the backups. So you choose a specific date. So let's say you want to come over here to the 27th of May. I can just click here on restore. And now it gives me all these other options. So pretty much this is just, you know, it's OK. And then you could just say yes to restore and your website is going to be back up and running like how it was on that specific date. So this is really, really powerful. It's really, really cool. And if you're a new designer, you're designing your websites, this feature is a no brainer. You really have to have this. And this is why I really recommend Elementor hosting. Okay, so the next feature I wanna talk about is the Teams. So this allows you to collaborate with your team. Now this is very powerful because you can imagine if you're working on a big website or perhaps you'd like some support from um, other qualified um, web developers or designers, this is where you would uh, use this feature because you can invite them and they're going to have access to your working website. And this is really powerful because different people with different expertise can work on different parts of the website. So let's say someone is coming in to work on the branding, they'll just focus on the colors, the typography and so on. And let's say someone else is coming to do some bit of development. This is also very powerful because all these people have access, but you have the ultimate access to your actual website. So this, again, is also a very, 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 very good feature, especially for small business owners or you want to design a um, really high functional website and you need expertise. Teams is going to be fantastic for you. Now, let's move on to the next item, and this is what you get with the hosting. So with other hosting companies, all you're getting is renting space on their servers. But what Elementor is doing here is something totally different. So with Elementor hosting, not only are you getting the hosting, but they are also bundling in the Page Builder Pro itself. So this is the Pro version, not the free one. So the Pro comes with the WooCommerce Builder. It comes with the Loop Builder. It also has a Theme Builder. It has a Pop-Up Builder and all the elements that you need to design a professional-looking website. So this is why I highly recommend that you go with Elementor Hosting because what they're giving you is way more than a standard hosting company would. And also, which takes me now to the next feature, which is the support. Now, let's take a look at what the support here looks like. So if I come over here now to um, FAQ and support, you can see there's several options here. We have tutorials. There's the Elementor community. We also have feature requests here, but obviously this is not really support. But yeah, you know what I mean. So over here on support center, if you click on find a solution, 
This is where you can get to choose specifically what sort of support you want. So if it's a technical issue, you just come over here. And now, first of all, they give you this um, area where you can uh, choose what really the problem is. So if I, let's say, site is down, they're going to give you um, some more information here and a tutorial. But let's say you really want to speak to a support agent, then you come over here to Other, and this is where you get the opportunity now to speak to an agent by coming over here to Chat Support. So if I open a chat, just like any ch uh, chat support system, this is where now this will pop up. And as you can see here, I can start a new conversation and pretty much I am good to go. But you can also add a support ticket. Now, because you're on this uh, premium hosting uh, service, they are going to give you premium support, which is also very good if you're a beginner or if you're running a small business on Elementor. Support is very, very important because obviously your website is going to be running your business and you'd like these to work in conjunction. So having that support in your fingertips is very, very, very important. Okay, so let's say you've signed up for um, Elementor Hosting and you'd like to connect your domain name. Let me show you how to do that. So back over here, I'm going to go back to my website here and click on Manage the Site. So if you want to connect, you want to come over here to Manage Domains. So this is where you can say, okay, I have a domain name and I want to, or I want to connect my uh, domain. So I'm going to click here to connect because I use a service called Hover.com to buy my domains. So let's say now I want to enter my domain name here. I'm just going to do this funnels to income.com. Let's say, let's pretend this is the domain of obviously my site is already running, but I'm going to say this is the website I need to connect. I'm going to click on let's begin. Next, I'm going to say uh, I signed in. What's next? Because I have a domain provider, which is this one right here. So we might as well sign in and. Uh, Follow the instructions. Next, I'm going to come and see what I need to do next over here. And that is find domain name settings page. I'm going to go and click on that. And then find your DNS records. I'm going to go ahead and click that as well. So to connect your domain name, what I need to do now is to just make sure I'm on my DNS tab. And most domain registrars will have this DNS tab. I know there's a lot of information here for my website. But what you need to do to connect, it's very, very easy. You want to take your A record here, which is the at. You copy that. You come over here. You add your A record, which is your at sign here. So what you could actually do is to go in and edit this one here if you uh, had an A record already in here. So I'll edit that and paste this one right here, the 162.159. And over here on the C name, I would also copy this, right, to clipboard. And then I'll look for my C name. Let's get rid of this one. So for my C name, it's right here. So I'm looking for the www, which is this one right here. So I'll go in and edit and then paste my C name. Now, once you've done that, pretty much you are good to go. Your domain is now connected to the Elementor hosting. So as you can see, this is a very simple, straightforward way of using Elementor hosting. I highly recommend it. And this is also cloud-based. It is packed full of features. It's super fast. And for any beginner out there, uh, or any small business owner that wants to just put a website out there, this is the best way to do it. I have a link to that in the video description below, so please check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.